Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing uh, pie chart data interpretation. First of all, you need to read the information which is provided in this pie chart. After that, you need to solve the questions based on this. Here the information is about uh, percentage distribution of students studying in arts and commerce in seven different institutes. Here the different institutes uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. These are the seven different institutes uh, and also the information which is uh, given in these two pie charts. Here if you look at first pie chart, uh, total number of students studying in arts. This is the chart which is showing uh, number of students uh, who are studying in arts whereas the second pie chart is uh, about uh, commerce and uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G these are the seven different institutions uh, and the percentage distribution of uh, number of students are given among uh, arts as well as commerce in these two pie charts. This is the complete information. First of all, you need to understand this complete information. Then only it is possible to solve the problems uh, in each and every data interpretation. Whether it is tablet data interpretation, pie chart, bar graph, line graph or else mixed one. Whatever the data interpretation, definitely you must understand the information first, uh, then you have to follow the questions. First of all, uh, <coughs> see, some people what they will do is, uh, first they will calculate uh, A is equal to A in arts, uh, how much value. Total arts is 3800, A is having 15 percentage. What is 15 percentage of 3800? Like that they will calculate each and every value. but that particular thing is not at all required. In examination point of view, while solving the problems, whatever the things are asking in each and every question, only those things you can calculate and remaining all are not required. Okay. If you look at the first question, what is the total number of students uh, studying in arts uh, institutes A and G together? Total number of students studying arts. Arts is nothing but first pie chart. First pie chart A and G together. A is having 15 percentage. G is having 12 percentage. A and G together. Arts A and G together which is equal to 27 percentage. 27 percentage. All together will be having 3800. All together will be having 3800. In this 3800, 27% 27 is uh, arts. In this uh, total 3800, 27% is arts. Now you can cancel these two values, uh, two zeros. Uh, 38 into 27, that is your answer. Here if you observe carefully, 38 into 27, units place must be 6. Why? Because... Uh, 8 7 is 56, 5 is the carry forward, right? And uh, in the given options, each and every option is ending with 6. So, you need to calculate the remaining values uh, as well. And next, uh, here it is 3 7 is 21, 21 plus 16, 21 plus 16, 37, right? 37 plus uh, 5, 42, 4 is the carry. And next, uh, 3, 2, sir, 6 and next uh, 6 plus 4, 10, 1, 0, 2, 6, sir. 1, 0, 2, 6, that is option A, number of total number of students studying arts in institutes A and G together, that is 1, 0, 2, 6, that is the required answer. I am not calculating uh, A and G individually, I am calculating together value directly, A and G together 15 plus 12, 15 plus 12 which is equal to 27. What is 27 percentage of 3800? That is your answer for this question, 1026. Let's move on to the next question. Second one, how many students from Institute B study Arts and Commerce? Here Institute B, we are talking about Institute B. And uh, also you need to calculate arts and commerce separately. After that you need to add those two values. Institute B. First arts. Arts is having a 8 percentage. Institute B. Out of total 
here it is 31 percentage b plus d together 31 percentage that is the required percentage and you need to calculate uh, what is 31 percentage of 31 percentage of total commerce 4200 total commerce value 4200 here two zeros and two zeros both are cancelled now 42 into 31 42 into 31 2 ones are 2 and next one is carry sorry not 1 2 ones are 2 and next uh, 4 plus 6 4 ones are 4 plus 2 threes are 6 4 plus 6 uh, 10 1 is carry 4 threes are 12 12 plus 1 13 1 3 0 2 1 3 0 2 that is the required answer it means uh, 31 percentage of 4200 value we got it as uh, 1302 which is option b option b is the right answer for this question guys uh, if you understand the given information properly problem solving is not at all a difficult task only thing you need to focus on the three areas one is uh, averages ratios as well as uh, percentages these are the three things you need to be very much uh, uh, confident about uh, these three particular topics then only it is possible to solve the problems in data interpretation especially in the next session we'll discuss some more problems related to pie chart i hope you enjoy the session thank you thanks for watching